Hello and welcome back to the Canon booth here at Photokino 2018 where I'm delighted to be joined by Guya Bersana who we've heard speaking a couple of times here on the booth today on the spotlight stage and also in the CPS lounge. Guya is a, an Italian photographer currently living in Barcelona uh, whose work has been focusing on women and identity. So um, we've been following your journey today all the way from your early days of, of reportage in Iran and Swaziland and Honduras all the way through to the fiction work via um, flowers and feminism and fashion. Your project, A Rummage of Flowers, I'm really interested to hear how that came about, the connection between women and flowers as well and the, and the kit that you used to shoot it with as well. Yes, okay, so uh, Rummage of Flower was born uh, when Canon asked me to pitch a story to test a new Canon. And uh, it's ha it was a long time that I really wanted to work on flowers in general. So as soon as they asked me uh, what do you want to work on, I thought the best thing was to keep something about my author vision and uh, make it a woman's story. And uh, uh, at the same time, mix something that was a little bit proppy like uh, flowers are. So I said, okay, why not? And I created this magic box that for me was a studio, which gave me the possibility to have an experience with the camera, a hands-on experience. So actually test uh, all the features, but inside a controlled setting. So my idea was, okay, I'll do something that goes along with the, with the moment now. So I'll work on uh, the features that I identify woman best now. So fragility, power and indecision. And um, I tried uh, with my visions like to create these mood boards and um, by props and colors uh, test the camera in a situation where this was going to become complicated but challenging. And they're really striking images, you know, a, a long way maybe from the reportage and, and very much uh, part of your vision. I'm curious to know, you'd be working in studio in this box that you created. When you were shooting with the EOS R, what, what was that experience like? How was shooting with this camera different maybe to the cameras that you were using in the past? Well, uh, for sure, uh, for the first time I was working hands-on, I kept it on the tripod, but I was using, using it a lot on hands. And that changed uh, the way, not only of working, but also the kind of picture that I was taking. Because I was, I was working in a silent mode, which also is really important, because I was creating this um, relationship between me and the model, who was not a professional model, but uh, someone who just started in modeling, because I think they're, they, get, they restitute this kind of uh, awkward feeling they have when uh, you come towards them. And um, the fact that it was silent, uh, made me shoot pictures when I was really near to them. So those pictures are probably more reportage than actually a fashion picture you would take from far away on a tripod. So it kind of, being a photographer who comes from reportage, getting near to the subject made me shoot. Yeah, and I guess there's that sense of uh, intimacy and sometimes when you approach a subject with a large camera and flash gun and all the rest of it, it can be a bit intimidating, particularly for someone who isn't used to being in front of the camera. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the atmosphere I wanted to uh, create. And I think that the silent mode did that for me. And um, I was really, I mean, the game changer of this camera for me on that kind of shooting was the autofocus. Because everything you can customize on autofocus is really, really, really amazing. And uh, there is this um, talking about human relationship. I had a very human relationship with the camera because she's reading the way that human beings operate. So uh, I have, I'm left-handed and uh, I was setting the display on the left side. So that was already very comfortable for me to move the thumb. And also the fact that um, there are so many points, like 5,500, even more of autofocus points. And uh, when you move your eye, the finger just moves with your eyes because that's something that humans being do. So the camera is actually being constructed to function as you do. And that was uh, game changing, absolutely. I didn't have to think about the focus. It was doing it for me, but I was doing it. <laughs> On that theme of relationships, let, let's go into that because you know, portraiture is, is a large part of, of your work. When you're working with non-professional subjects, and I know for some of the corporate work you do or maybe some of the news assignments, you're working with subjects who maybe don't want to share very much in front of the camera or, or feel a bit intimidated, whatever the surroundings. You've got five minutes, ten minutes to get that shot from them. 
what are your tactics as a professional to try and uh, stimulate that human connection and capture something on the on the kit? Well, uh, after years of shooting for newspapers, what I came up with is that uh, I want to ask them to give me something that distracts them from themselves. So in two seconds, I tell them just do something and they won't feel responsible for what, how they appear. They will just do a gesture or something very quick. And that is something that usually can have a nice outcome. And uh, so that's what I do. I ask them to just, you know, do something for me and then I see what happens. And I guess it's about releasing that sense of self-consciousness. I mean, you know, I don't particularly like uh, having my photo taken, but I, yeah, I can understand how just doing something out of body. Very quickly before we go, um, your, your portraiture, it's developed a lot, like you say, from the reportage to the, to the uh, fiction work now. Where would you like to develop that next? What, have, what else have you got to still explore in Guia land? Well, I think it's infinite. <laughs> and um, it, it comes every time uh, with time and uh, it's a mixture between uh, portrait but mainly fiction in my personal work for sure and uh, but it's a it's a it's a fake fiction because in fiction I do talk about reality it's my reality which I think is also shared universally so there are subjects that are not only me because that's not interesting but something that can be shared and uh, uh, lived by other people well Guia, thank you very much indeed for sharing your actuality and your fiction here with us on the canon booth at photokina 2018 if you want to come and see some of Guia's work then uh, do come by have a look at the print gallery where some of Guia's portraits are there in display in full size uh, we're going to be back here with some more conversations with ambassadors getting hands-on with the kit keep it locked to canon events and we'll see you later on bye for now